Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel, or if you're new, if you are new, welcome. Today I'm going to be re reviewing the Too Faced Sweet Peach palette. I have used this once before, but didn't really use like all of the colors. I just kind of chose one for my lid shade. Um, I got this a while because QVC was running a deal where it was on sale, and then if you signed up as a new member. You got like an extra $10 off. So I hopped on that real quick and bought it. So it came out to like $25 or something like that. $20, $25. Um, here's the inside packaging. Here's the inside. It smells so good. It literally reminds me of like those little strawberry shortcake dolls where like they have the sense to them, this is what that smells like. Like reliving your childhood, honestly. So I'm just gonna start out with my full face. I'll kind of go through what products, cause I haven't said it before. I've just been kind of showing them. It's been kind of awkward, so bear with me. So I start off with the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Moisturizer. My face is extremely dry all the time. So I just kind of put a little bit in my dry spots. Just kind of all a little bit much over and then I just kind of work that in also if you see the spread spot on my chin, my cat decided to get me in the chin this morning and scratch me. So, love that. So, just get done rubbing that all in, rub the excess on my chin. Kind of let it sit down for a minute. And then I'm gonna try a different pro problem. Wow, primer today, it is the Nor No Problem by the touch and soul i got this in a boxy charm and i still have not yet to try it so we're gonna try it <laughs> So I'm just gonna go in with the Hard Candy color corrector in the green, just to kind of conceal just a little bit of the redness cause like I said, my cat got me, so. I'm just gonna kind of blend this in a little. Okay, now that that is done, I'm gonna go in with my also hard candy, the Glamouflage in 1505 beige. So with this, it has a doe foot applicator, which is a pretty large one. So right now I'm in like, kind of like the final two or three weeks of college. So most of my teachers are just like, yeah, it's just lab time, so I really don't have to go in, which is nice. Um, I just have to make myself do my finals. <laughs> um, so as a little bit of a get to know me, uh, I am in my second degree of college. Um, in December, I graduated from my college uh, with a photography degree. It was one and a half years, so I guess it was technically like a technical diploma or something like that. Even though it was supposed to be a two-year degree, 
unfortunately they kept cutting classes from her degree or like merging similar ones and stuff like that which kind of sucked because then you weren't getting like the full degree but it was also nice because you could finish quicker and you didn't have to take boring gen, ed gen eds which was nice but um so i kind of i didn't know if i wanted to go back at first kind of waited on it and i was like wow this new thing that i'm in now is kind of cool you know it would help me like better create my website and so I kind of just went for it this semester, not really sure you know, if I was going to complete it. I was just kind of testing the waters. I still had some financial aid left, so I was like, why waste it? it it's kind of pointless, especially all the trouble that I go through with my school, which could be a whole nother video if you guys are really interested. It's just stressful. <laughs> so um, I am now in the website technician website design technician degree. Maybelline concealer in 5 ivory. I think it's a little too white. I've been getting too white of concealers Because I don't know my own skin tone half the time. So Yay Now I'm just gonna go in I can Find a powder bro. Translucent It does have a little ouch. Um, it does have a little bit of like a You're not even gonna be able to see that are you? It has more of like a banana-y color to it than a translucent, whereas translucent is more, is more like a white. in. I'm gonna take the Luxie 512 small contouring brush. This is from their festival. I also got this in BoxyCharm. It was like a set of three or four. going to go in with the Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. Also got this in a boxy lux. Um, they put this in their first boxy lux box. And then I go in with this shade, which is Princess Cut, and I use this for contouring or bronzing. I thought it was always the same thing, but apparently not. But I just go in with this brush here. I kind of go in with like a light hand at first. And then I just 
slowly build it up eventually. So the eat it or wear it challenge is one where you get like certain foods or like condiments like ketchup and mustard and things like that and you put them in like little baggies. I have to sneeze again. And I forgot to contour my nose. Okay so the eat it or wear it challenge like I said is one where you put like little condiments in the bag and um, you like pick numbers like you you label the bags that the, the stuff is in and then you end up picking a number and you have to choose to either eat it or wear it. So, like, they'll put it on your head if you choose to wear it. So, like, you know, if you, you know, chose bag three and it's ketchup, you have to choose to either eat that little bit or you're wearing it. So, I think that would be super fun. I'm taking the Luxie 243 Precision Blending Brush. Ignore my dog in the background. And just contouring my nose. Also, if you want a story time on why we got security cameras at our new house, let me know in the comments because that's a whole nother story. I won't use specific names or anything, but I can tell the basic story and I know the reason of why they don't know who I am. So for blush, I'm going to go in with the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in Quirky. I know this is a sample size. I believe I got it from my Ipsy. Yeah, I think it's from my Ipsy. So Ipsy is a $10 a month like subscription also. Um, it is extremely affordable. It is awesome. You get little bags every month. I'm just gonna go in. Hopefully this is light enough. And just kind of lightly, oh, I need more. That is extremely light. gonna kind of flush that over the cheek but kind of blend it with the contour a little bit so there's not that harsh line <laughs> Ooh, that needs to be blended out just a little bit a little bit on the nose just kind of not have it so ghostly <laughs> kind of just brush it over any Two white spots because like I said my concealer is a little too light for me so so next I'm gonna go in with this hard candy highlighter and I can't see what shade it's in because the sticker is ripped off but it says Rose Dior or Dorier so it's something with that and I'm using a lot of hard candy <laughs> And tart <laughs> so I just take this small so I just take this small SL Miss Glam brush in the B36 it's a tapered highlight um, this was an Ipsy I'm assuming exclusive because it says Ipsy on it so I'm just going to go and mix between these two shades over here I really don't like this darker one I don't think it'll match I'm gonna take these two letter ones because I've never used this. I believe I got this in a 
like Walmart beauty box that they had. It was like all about highlighters or something like that. So I'm just going to kind of hopefully maybe take this off my brush. <laughs> There we go. And then just, ooh, not bad, not bad. And then kind of just dab it up on top. I'm just gonna do a little bit on my nose and then dab a little bit on the forehead, dust the chin, a little butt on the top. And we'll go back in afterwards with more highlight probably because you can never have too much highlight. Highlight is the bomb. So I'm gonna put that back and then I'm gonna go in with the Iconic London. Uh, it's like an eyebrow duo. This is the medium. I also got this in a boxy box. Um, this was in the March box, um, the the box box. It's pretty awesome. It's got a decent size mirror, and then it, you just there it comes with like a little brush. Um, I don't use it just because I don't like the way it is. So it comes with a angled brush. I can't really do this with one hand. Um, it is extremely angled compared to my normal, and then just a small spoolie. And it just kind of sits in here otherwise I just I guess I don't really like it so there is a can I like reflect this on myself there we go a lighter and a darker I go more for the lighter shade just because if I go with the darker I look like I have insane eyebrows and my family says I have insane eyebrows when I do this so and we're just gonna carve it out also please excuse my eyebrows they are not twins they are barely sisters. They're probably more like cousins. So we'll work on that. <laughs> I've never been good with my eyebrows. Literally all throughout middle school and like up to like probably sophomore year. I would shave like the middle of my eyebrows, which is like a normal razor. So my eyebrows started like here instead of where they are now. So now, to do touch-ups, I use the little, the little mini razors just to do quick touch-ups if I don't feel like waxing or, you know, if I'm just going out quick and, you know, I have a random spot or two. Otherwise, I do now finally hard wax my eyebrows because the sticky wax with the little papers, not a good idea. My prom pictures, that's a whole other story. I over waxed and over did all of that and um, yeah I had very very like imagine this like twice the size sized eyebrows for prom and then continued to fill in my eyebrows with a black eyeshadow so not only did I have super thin eyebrows I had hella dark eyebrows <laughs> like yes I had black hair um, but my eyebrows just You know what, why don't we just tell like our funny eye sh eyebrow stories in the comments? Um. You know, there's that. So I would like to know like, what are your scary eyebrow stories or something funny that's happened? Like. Have you accidentally, like, you know, shaved a whole part of your eyebrow? Have you just done something crazy with your eyebrows? Let me know. Because hopefully I am not the only one. <laughs> I would be very sad if I was the only one. Um, yeah. I hope I'm not the only one. <laughs> so, so, again, I'm just going to quickly spray my face a little bit. Just because now everything is done. Marc Jacobs concealer that I got free from Influencer. This is in light 20. Uh, this product I received free in order to review. Um, 
it's not really my shade so I use it more for my eyes and for that it works amazing it is a really really nice concealer I like I said I'm just very very bad at shade matching so so now I'm just gonna kind of pat this all over the lid kind of go up to the eyebrow fix if I messed up anywhere that is also why I don't carve up my eyebrows because I kind of just go in after with this concealer and do that. Obviously it'd probably be better if I carved out my eyebrows, but we're a wreck. So I'm just gonna do the same to this side. We're going to go into the Too Faced Sweet Peach Palette. So I'm going to go in with White Peach, which is the white shade. Just kind of put that all over my lid as a base. Hopefully this is not a shimmery shade. And this I just kind of pack on um, my lid so there is an even base. And I take a lot of it. Like I'm not doing light eyeshadow I'm literally just packing this on so my base isn't tacky and my eyeshadows will blend a lot better oh so I'm using the Elizabeth Mott blending brush I got this in Ipsy like one of my first ever bags and like I said when I get my May bag um, I'll actually be doing probably a two-in-one because um, in April they opened up their list for the Ipsy Plus, so I scored on that right away. So I will be doing a review on the normal Ipsy bag and the Ipsy Plus and kind of, you know, go through all of that. And then debating after this month, I will see if I will do it another month. I think I'm going to go in with Puree. It is this shade right here. And this is the Wet n Wild. It's just a blending brush. It was a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And then I will go in with this uh, Alamar Cosmetics brush. I have no idea what kind of brush, but it's just like a fluffy blending brush. Uh, this was in a BoxyCharm as a set of four, I believe. And I think this was, this was in a normal box, not a boxy Lux. So now I'm going to go in with Summer Yum, which is the shade next to it. It's a little bit redder. Just going to take a little bit, tap that off, and just kind of go over the same spot, but lighter. Just to kind of deepen it a little bit and give it a little more. I'm gonna also bring it underneath the eye just a little bit, just left over.
think I'll take this one. So this is another Olimar Cosmetics brush that came in that same pack. This is just a, ooh, wrong side. A small packing brush. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this top one here. It is Luscious. It's top one. So a little hack is that if your brush isn't getting the like shininess and the brightness you want, just take it on your finger or you can also use setting spray on your brush and it'll kind of just brighten it up a little bit. I occasionally do both just nose contour with, which is the Luxie 243 Precision Blending Brush. It's just a very, very small blending brush, but it's kind of more pointed. And then I'm going to take this top corner called Charmed, I'm sure. And just a very, very slight, just a very, very little bit. And then just attempt to darken up the crease if it will work. There we go. There we go. So I think I am, so I'm going to go in just with my finger in this color called Nectar. It is like a, ah, <laughs> it's a very, very light orangey kind of color and just put that on the crease, or not, in the inner corner, not the crease. And just kind of lightly and for the brow highlight, I'm going to take the Luxie 221 Flat Definer Brush, and it's just these. I'm going to take the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara.
you guys like this look, please let me know. I think it's just, it's very neutral. It's an everyday look. It's very simple. And I love this palette. It's, it's a little bit hard to create like a full look that really isn't just dark and then like a random color over the lid. Unless you're very, very outgoing with using sparkly sh shadows in the corner, or not in the corner. Yeah, in the outer corner and stuff like that. But otherwise, this is an amazing palette. It smells so, so, so good. It literally smells like one of those little strawberry shortcake dolls that I used to get as a kid. If you remember those, please let me know. Like, please let me know that I'm not the only one that remembers those. This literally smells like my old strawberry shortcake doll. Even though it says peach, it's still... It smells amazing. So... Let me know what you guys think of this look. Let me know what else I should do. Let me know if your brows, what your horror stories are, whatever else. Um, thank you for watching this video. Please leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!